No one is sleeping in the church, honey. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Now, it's kind of difficult because we don't know if that's a male or female that can perform. So, huh? Because it could be either, right? It could be either. Um, late, <laughs> mothers, late hands. <laughs> if, if the <laughs> there are okay, there are some, medical. there are some things. There could be a medical reason why a mate can't perform. Then you need to see a doctor, okay? Because they do have certain instruments for the male that he can buy, and that can be bought to help help in that so area. Exercises. And also, the doctor could tell you what to do in terms of exercises or certain things, or things that may not be in your you know, you, you, you could be, it could be a health reason. Then there could be a psychological reason. A phobia, okay? Where a mate can't perform. Then they need to go for counseling to overcome whatever that fear is and to be worked through. That's, and that's a very good question because sometimes a husband and wife get together and we do not believe in experimenting Amen. With merchandise before we purchase it. Amen? Amen. And the purchase is the marriage. And so what happens is, is that they get home and then find out someone has a problem. Then there needs to be counseling and things sought out so that the spirit of that relationship. Meantime, I think that there should be, um, I think there should be foreplay. I think that there should um, be able to uh, enjoy one another until they can understand or get over the hurdle of consummation. Okay. This is good. When a wife is saved and she's bringing a child to church and the child, which is a 14 year old, is complaining to the father, he doesn't want to go. The father says he doesn't have to go. The teen has a call on his life for, min for music. What, what's a mother to do? And then it says part two, the child comes on Saturday. Okay. And he says, okay. And he said something wouldn't let him sing. I don't know. Okay. I think that in a case like that, if the mother has a child and the child's a teenager, you want to bring the child to church. The father stands in the way of that child's spiritual upbringing. I would plead my cause as a wife to the father, to the, to, to, to the husband, and ask God to touch his heart. And I would also do the right things. Women know how to get men to say yes. Amen. A skillful woman, let me just say that. A wise woman. A wise woman knows how to get a yes out of her man. It may take a little work, but usually you can get it. But what, can do, but what happens then, and then at that point, leave the child in the hand of that father. Because it might be through that child that God brings that father in. Amen. Because when God gets through putting the fire under the father's butt, He'll be glad to bring the child in, and he'll come in. Amen. Okay, here's one. Why is it that people do not trust male and female in the kingdom of God? That there is no, that there is no dating. Think there's something going on. Because understanding um, birds and bees, bees, and... You shouldn't trust no one, and I can't stress enough when two people come together and you're alone and things start to generate 
that should not generate. Um, it gets out of control. And if you want, we can get you together with some individuals and let them give you some testimonies. Amen. Amen. It has its repercussions. And I know many that are here probably would have wished that they would have heard this teaching 30 years ago. Because it would have kept them out of a lot of the hot water that they're in today. This is another one. How does one stop the pattern of dating older men because you didn't have a father present during your growing up years as, as a young lady? How do you overcome the absence in having and have from a father that you didn't have? Mm. By seeking the father. I think by developing a relationship with the father God will begin to fill that void. Now, and, and I'm a testimony of that. I had a, a, a father in the home, but he wasn't a functioning father in the sense of spending time. And when I got saved at the age of 16, at the age of 16, 17, God broke something in me when I began to cry out unto God about my father and released me of that. As a matter of fact, he told me at that time not to pray for my father anymore, to release him. And I did just that. And I never brought my father's name up before the Lord in prayer again. My father ended up joining the church in 88, getting born again, getting saved. And when God, when I let it go by going to the father and building a relationship with the father where he became father, then things turned around in my life and I stopped running out after others seeking for a father. Okay. What is your opinion on divorce and remarry? Divorce is not the unpardonable sin and remarriage is not a sin. Okay. What do you do when your mate that you are not yet married to is not on the same level as you are? Do you address this manner or not? The opening question again, what? What do you do when your mate that you are not yet married to is not on the same level as okay. you are? That's what I was. Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't sure I heard that. Your mate that you're not. Okay, okay. It's not your mate. It's not your mate yet, okay. I, I got a little bit, okay. I think the key there is not yet married to. Um, that may be a clue or signal that that may not be your mate. Because whenever God brings your mate, he's going to bring you a head. 